Hello everyone, my name is Fred Hartman and I'm the Director of Guest Programs at Liberty Science Center. And this is my lab partner, Colonel Quayle. And this is a special episode of My Pet is My Lab Partner, getting to know Colonel Quayle. Hello everybody to a very special edition of My Pet is My Lab Partner, because today we are talking all about Colonel Quayle. So we've been receiving lots of questions about Colonel Quail now that she's become the most famous science quail in the country. And she's going to be taking a few questions we've been getting through emails. So Colonel Quail, you want to peck and get our, our first question up there? All right, excellent job. We have our first question comes from Chelsea. And Chelsea wants to know, what is Colonel Quail? What kind of quail is she? Well, she is a gambles quail, which typically come from the American Southwest, where they live mostly in hot deserts, uh, dry grasslands, areas where there might be uh, grasses and cacti, especially areas like the Sonoran Desert. Um, and she is, of course, a quail. And these are typically birds that don't do a lot of flying. She can fly, but they spend a lot of their time in the ground living in small groups. So that is what Colonel Quail is, and maybe we can get her to ask, uh, pull up the next question. You wanna pull up the next question? All right, good job. And the next question is, how did I get Colonel Quail? How did she end up here? And that question came from Sophie. Well, Sophie, I've always wanted a quail. Don't ask me why, I just always thought they would make very interesting pets. And I did a lot of research about quails, really uh, got to know my stuff. And I had a friend who, happen to have some quails available and that's how I was able to get her to come here and live with me and I got her when she was about one month old so she had hatched for about one month and she came here and because she was so young we were able to really bond right from a young age so she's very very uh, connected to me so let's get another question Colonel Quill you want to open up the next email excellent job and this one comes from Amanda and Amanda wants to know how old is Colonel Quail? So Colonel Quail will be celebrating her fifth birthday in just a few months. She's born on July 16th. That is Colonel Quail's birthday, if anyone wants to celebrate. And she will be celebrating her fifth birthday. All right, I think we have time for a couple more. Colonel Quail, you want to pull up the next? All right, and this one comes from Jess. And Jess wants to know, what does Colonel Quail eat? Well, we have lots of food here for Colonel Quail. You can get an idea of... Um, some of the stuff she likes to eat. She's got her grains. Cheerios are a really nice treat for her. And her favorite are blueberries. So she loves different fruits. She gets different vegetables, but she eats a lot of this grain. Um, and she eats every day, all day. So she doesn't eat a couple meals a day like we do. She eats all the time. Uh, basically every half hour or so she gets to have a snack. And sometimes she even eats uh, little bugs. These are larvae. Um, from, they're called mealworms. And that's a special treat she only typically eats um, dur during special times of the year. And I think we're going to talk about what that is in a moment, because I think our next question, let's see. All right, our next question comes from Diane. And Diane wants to know, does Colonel Quail lay eggs? And the answer is yes, Colonel Quail does lay eggs. In fact, I have a couple of her eggs here. And this egg, she laid just about an hour ago. So she does lay eggs, and she gets those mealworms during her egg-laying season, which is right around this time of year. So March, April, May is when she's in her egg-laying season. And those mealworms give her great protein during that egg-laying season. Now, because she lives here with, with me, uh, she doesn't have a, a boy quail she, uh, with her. So those eggs are unfertilized. So there's no baby uh, birds inside those eggs. So they're completely um, just yolking them, nothing else just like maybe some of the eggs you would get from a, a rest, or from a, if you were ordering eggs or if you were at the supermarket, Colonel Quail, come back over here. I know you've got some uh, great blueberry left. So there's no, no reason that those eggs would hatch. Uh, and no, we do not eat them. It just seems a little weird to be eating eggs from, from uh, your pet, almost like if your cat was laying eggs and you ate them. I think we have time for one more email. You want to open up that last quail mail? All right, and the final quail mail is from Asai, and Asai wants to know what does Colonel Quail like to do? Well, we have some of her favorite toys here. She likes to play with her xylophone. 
She's a big fan of hanging out on the couch. Who isn't? Uh, this is her favorite blanket. She's a big fan of fleece. She prefers to lay in fleece. Girl, why we're playing with your toys here. I have some socks here. She also loves to peck socks. She hates bare feet, so if you're ever uh, walking around with bare feet, she, chase, she likes to chase people in their bare feet. And she's very connected to people. She really uh, loves being around me. She loves being around everyone uh, who comes and visits. Uh, and she's just very personable, and she, she really enjoys being around people. But thank you so much for joining us today and learning all about my great lab partner, Colonel Quayle. We'll be back soon uh, with another at-home science experiment uh, that we'll be uh, testing out here with Colonel Quayle the Science Quayle. And I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope to talk to you all again very soon.